Do you want to learn how to double clutch properly? Not quite sure how? Well, I'll show you. Double clutching is almost exactly the same shifting technique as it is to shift without the clutch. The only difference is with double clutching, you will be easing the transmission out of gear and then back into gear and meshing the synchronizing of gears. Uh, there are no synchronizers in a compound transmission in the uh, semi-trucks so you want to mesh them together as best you can without grinding or without causing what they call shock load to the input shaft of the transmission. Now, shock load is caused when you uh, shift without the clutch uh, or if you back into a dock too hard or if you spin the tires and then hit drive pavement. Uh, essentially what shock load is doing is it's causing too much torque on the input shaft of the transmission. So here's my technique to get better at double clutching. It is all in throttle control. So with your right foot on the throttle, what you should do is raise your RPM and learn to hold it at a certain RPM. And the reason for that is because when you shift, you're basically going to keep your RPM between 1000 and 1500 RPM. So downshifting or upshifting, you want to get to know the throttle. Give yourself a relationship with the throttle and understand how hard you need to push on the throttle to give the RPMs and how much you need to let go to lower them down. So what I suggest doing is raising up to 14 or 1500 RPM and holding there and then bringing down to about a thousand and holding it there. Bring it up to 1500 RPM. See, even I need practice. Bring it up and hold it in there somewhere. The closer you can get to that RPM, the better your shifting will be. And bring down to a thousand. up to 15 hold it take note of where your foot is when you bring it up to 1500 rpm lower it down to a thousand and hold it there okay so that's the first step to getting better at double clutching or even shifting without the clutch. It's all RPM control.